It's time for Friday Follies, right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. The Comedy Forecast Network. Let's dog ear this for now. This is the 7th Annual Comedy Forecast April Podcast Today Spectacular. Brought to you by the Comedy Forecast patrons on Patreon.com. Thank you. This year's original 30-chapter story is called The Slow Down. To hear it from the beginning, just go to ComedyForecast.com slash 2021. Now, here's Chapter 25, Return Policy. In our last episode, among myriad other things, Dick Bando had burst into the office of Grass Side Greens Mayor Garfield Lucky Dubois Jr. Bando has a large box filled with eight glowing orbs, each slightly smaller than the size of a basketball. What do you mean there is a problem? When Dick Bando purchased these spheres from you, you did not tell Dick Bando that law enforcement officials would come knocking on Dick Bando's very expensive front door. Law enforcement? That is correct. Dick Bando is now giving back almost all of the spheres Dick Bando purchased from you. Almost all? Dick Bando is sure that there is some sharp, Eared listener out there who will realize that the one Dick Bando had in Dick Bando's anteroom chandelier was not retrieved prior to Dick Bando's departure. I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't care how many you have. I don't want them back. Do you know what will happen to me if I get caught with stolen goods? Stolen? You did not inform Dick Bando that these items were, as the young people say, purloined. Dick Bando is many things. Rich, wealthy, well-to-do. But Dick Bando is no thief. Here. Dick Bando does not even want Dick Bando's money back. Dick Bando will simply take this rare Bob Ross painting as payment. No, not that. Those are impossible to get. How strange. Dick Bando appears to have acquired one quite easily. Good day to you, sir. Oh, hello, Sergey. J.K. Elon. Glad you got here so fast. He's right in there. There are plenty of other valuables like this in there, too. By the way, did you hear the news about Abby Fallmacher? Wait, what news? What news? Meanwhile, far underground, General Calamity and Miss Abby Fallmacher had reached a doorway in the tunnels. After Miss Fallmacher rang the doorbell, the massive wooden doors began to swing open. Fallmacher, get behind me. No, thank you. I'll go in first and do some recon. You do what you want. I'm going in too. Miss Fallmacher and General Calamity walk into what is clearly a massive library. The walls are filled with rows of books, loose-leaf binders, and notepads. Around the perimeter of the room sit various objects such as statues, ornate lamps, and chairs. The room is cast in a soft purple glow. At the center of the room, on a raised platform, is a simple wooden desk facing the open door. The entire top of the desk is strewn with open manuscripts. A lone figure sits in a chair behind the desk, their body hunched over one of the tomes. Without looking up, the figure speaks. Like, just leave the pizza on that table. There's, like, money there, including a, like, tip. Cindy? The reader looks up. Like, hey... When did you guys, like, join Grubhub? What? Like, okay, DoorDash, Uber Eats, whatever. We are most definitely not from a delivery service. Like, cool. Because I just remembered that I didn't, like, order pizza. 
And, like, it's a pretty small tip. Back in grass side green, the number of spheres Mayor Dubois has received back from angry customers continues to grow. Thank you so much for bringing these back, Elon. Good luck with that whole SpaceX thing, Elon. I look forward to your test flights not blowing up, Elon. And what kind of name is Elon, anyway? It's as bad as Bezos. Oh, hello, Jeff. You're looking, uh, bald today. I see you brought me some spheres. Now I'm a Prime member, so I'm assuming there's no charge. Did anyone happen to mention anything to you about our mutual friend, Miss Fallmacher? No one wants to tell me what happened. How many people did Mayor Dubois sell these orbs to? And why didn't Cindy order pizza? For answers, be sure to listen to Chapter 26, No Sunscreen Required. Special thanks to David Wapple and everyone in the Virtual Writers Cafe, and also everyone in the forums at schoolie.net. In this episode, the part of Abby Fallmacher was played by Bonnie Kenderdine, and the narrator was played by Gary J. Chambers, GaryJChambersVO.com. Additional voices, as well as story and music by Clinton Alvord. Copyright 2021, all rights reserved. from. Some say he's not a man. Some say he's a force. Not of nature, but of something more primal than that. He's the acid taste of vengeance you can't quite swallow down in a town that's besieged by fear, an unbreathed regret. Others say he was a man who wouldn't rest until all the pain in the world was fed back to those who mined it out of others. He's only known by one name, from county to county, in the hours past dawn, and in the haze-filled air, you'll see him walking towards you if you keep secrets, if you harm folks. He's the drifter, and he won't stop till sorrow's end. A weird western series from Jeffrey Billard starring The Drifter. From Audio Groovecats and the Amigo Collective, coming 2023 only on Mutual, with Episode 1, Before a Wind. <laughs>